following him right down, headed straight towards this bog. And right when we get down to it, I, he immediately takes a hard right. And I'm like, okay. Like, he's not, not headed in. But and so I see a bunch of thick stuff. I'm like, well, let me walk around this. I don't need, don't want to like it. It's so quiet, and uh, I'm like, I don't want to break branches and stuff. And I step around, and as I'm stepping around, all of a sudden you hear a branch break. <laughs> I think you're good now. <laughs> At least you're presentable. <laughs> you happy with it? Was it was a rough night. Was it? You know, he came in one morning and he said, you're looking a little rough this morning. Where Were you at Dell's last night? That's what you said to me. You were at Dylan's. Yeah, but I didn't look rough, I don't <laughs> think. <laughs> All right, we're rolling. Oh we're rolling. God. We're live. <clears throat> um, <laughs> welcome back to another episode of Northwoods Whitetails Podcast. I'm your host, Joey Davis. Today, I am joined by Dustin Martin, Hello. fellow team member. And then we've got Brooke Naylor and my beautiful bride, Jamie. How are we all doing? Thank you. Good. Good? Yeah. Fantastic. So, uh, D. Martin, I want to start with you. Um What's going on? How's the season been? Let's talk about it. Yeah. Uh, Maine. It, yeah. It's been actually been a pretty awesome season. Um, yeah. It started out with the bear, of course. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it was pretty unreal uh, experience with that whole bear archery kill. Um, I mean, just the size of that. For, um, for those that don't know, how big was that? Yeah, that bear ended up weighing 375 pounds and was the fifth biggest archery bear kill in the state of Vermont. Wow. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yep. And what's going to take place from here? Is Curtis going to Yeah, so score Curtis it? is waiting uh, for the drying period to end, and he's going to score it. He thinks it's going to go Pope and Young. That's awesome. So, yeah, so just waiting for that drying period to end. Nice. Congrats. Yeah. That's Thank awesome. You. Thank you. Yeah, the thing was a son of a gun to drag out. <laughs> yeah, sure was. Yeah. Sure was. Yeah, yeah. I, had, I had fun watching you guys. <laughs> yeah, <it>. appreciate <laughs> it, Brooke. Yeah. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good um, shots. Deer season. Let's deer dive season. into it. Yeah. You killed one in Maine. Yeah. You killed a really good buck in Maine yeah. right off the bat. Yeah, right off. I mean, I was actually sitting in my stand um, back home, and it was a Saturday. It looked, went on to my phone and not really thinking that there was going to be snow. And then all of a sudden, when I was like, holy smokes, there's going to be snow in Maine. And, and I immediately texted my dad, and I was like, hey, let's go. He goes, yep, I got an appointment, but you should head up there, and I'll meet you up there. So I uh, literally got home, packed my stuff, and, and I headed. Um, went right up to camp um, Sunday, got, got into camp, prepared it and everything. And, and um, it said there was going to snow overnight, so I th was expecting to wake up with snow on the ground. Woke up, and there was nothing. And I was like, oh, man, are you kidding? Like, uh, like, like what's going on? And then all of a sudden, it just started dumping. And, and it snowed all day. I... I by the time I left camp, the ground was covered, went out, was able to hunt all day, and I ended up hunting till noon and got soaked, um, but uh, able to walk out to a, a camera and at least check one. I was like, I might as well go out there, see if I can catch a track, and, and I figured nothing was really moving at that time anyway, so yeah, went out. Um, actually had a big 10-pointer on the camera, which is cool to see. I did right on a signpost. No kidding. Yep. And then... Uh, Walked back to the truck. I'm like, I'm soaked. I'm going to go back, dry my stuff out, drive around, see if I can find a track, go to another area where I had been into last year. So um, went back in there, and I uh, parked the truck, and I was like, all right, I'm just going to line out for the afternoon, see if I can catch something, see if anything's moving. And I literally just walked 20 yards from the truck, and all of a sudden I hit a track. I'm like, all right. Well, so you hit it same day it was snowing. Same you hit day. Hit, hit that track well i hit a track yep um and i ended up following i'm like well I, it's a track deer will lead you to deer so i was like well let me just follow it see where this goes so and i didn't follow him long and and i ended up jumping him and i think it was a small buck i don't i mean it was acting like a buck and i don't know but um uh tracked him and, and i heard him take off and and he, where 
where he was bedded, it was no way I was going to be able to see him. Mm-hmm. Went over there, checked it out. I'm like, yeah, it's, it looks like a like small buck or something. I don't know. So I'm like, well, I'll just keep on following him, see where he leads me. And then all of a sudden, he led me right into other deer. I got onto another track. It took me around, and and then he like that track led me to to a big buck track. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to take this one then. So I ended up taking that one for the rest of the afternoon. And uh, sure enough, all of a sudden I realized he does a 90. And so I start slowing way down and came around this corner and there was this blow down and I was walking around. And as I come around the blow down, I see, I see a deer take off and I pulled up and I couldn't, couldn't get a shot, but I'm pretty sure it was that, or it was a decent buck, had a had good track. And, um, I was like, oh man, like trying to figure out what I did wrong. So long story short, I went back and watched the GoPro footage that night. You could see that buck on the GoPro because I wear my GoPro on my head, uh, but I couldn't pick it out from my eyes because like where, where the eye level, my eye level mm-hmm. on the GoPro, mm-hmm. you could, uh, you could see his head on the GoPro, but because of where I was, I couldn't pick him out or at least I wasn't. Wasn't okay. able to pick him out fast enough. <laughs> so it's just one of those scenarios. But, yeah. but that was, I mean, that was cool. That was fun. It nice. was a fun little afternoon. Wasn't expecting much for how hard it was snowing. But yeah, by the time um, that afternoon hit, we had five inches of snow on the ground. So wow. Yeah, it snowed. I mean, heavy all day, yeah. all day. And so uh, yeah, that was a, that was a fun day. Went back to camp, and uh, my dad ended up showing up that night. And then I was like, hey, there's a big buck in this area. Let's go right back there in the morning. So let's drive the roads. There's a bunch of different roads. So that was our plan. We woke up and drove down these different fingers into that area. And uh, first couple roads, didn't see anything. Saw some doe tracks. And then the the road that um, I had got on that track yes, the day before, um, I got onto this immediately, immediately a buck track. I'm like, yeah, that's a good track uh older let's go up the road see if we can freshen it up so drove all the way to the end of the road seeing different tracks to like checking them out and meanwhile this buck was walking up the road kind of zigzagging back and forth and uh never caught anything that was fresher or bigger and so then i was like all right well let's go back and we'll take this one and so i'm uh my dad dropped me off, and he was going to go to the next road. And I'm like, go down there and see if there, if you can catch a track or if this track comes out. I don't know. And uh, hang out right there. So that's what he did and left me. I got on the track, and <laughs> all of a sudden, immediately got into a, like a barnyard of deer. And I'm like, holy smokes. Like, this, this buck's definitely coming down, just checking, smelling, putting down scrapes everywhere. And uh, I was like, well, let me just do a big loop around this cut, see if he comes out or whatever. So I go out, do a big loop around. I see where another small buck comes in. He puts down a scrape and and other does coming in and out. And I'm like, man, I never, never caught his track. Where did he go? And do a whole loop around. And so meanwhile, my dad's like, I had nothing down on this road. I'm like, well, come back here. That buck must have turned around and went back around, or I don't know where he is. So he's like, so I told him, come up. There's another finger off of this road. Just drive out and and see if you can catch a track out that road. And there's plenty of deer right in this area. So, so that's what he did. He ended up passing me, and I ended up going all the way back to where he dropped me off. And sure enough, his track had gone into the cut messed around and came right back out. He must have just missed his track and he and he crossed he, the road. Did he come out while you were in there? No. Okay. No, this it was all older. So I was trying to freshen him up. So they were just going both it, ways. And, and, yeah, they were yeah. just everywhere. It was yep. like a barnyard. Yeah. And so finally got out and I realized, okay, he he crossed the road and and he's headed back the other direction. So got back on his track, sorted it all out. And meanwhile my dad had texted me, he goes, Hey, I just got a fresher track up here um um, uh, should i take it i'm like yeah go ahead jump on it like i don't know if it's the same buck whatever like yeah Yeah. go ahead and jump on it so sure enough long story short same buck and like we ended up i ended up crossing it he's zigzagging still putting down scrapes going back and forth and then all of a sudden he he does a beeline straight towards that road he's on i'm like oh no way so i'm like that that's probably the same same buck that he's on yep 
come at, come out onto the road, see his truck. I'm like, yeah, go ahead and take it. You know, that's fine. Take it. I'm going to go. I'm going to take the truck and drive to the end of the road and just line out and see if I can catch a different track or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, so he takes it. I go out to the end of the road and I just, my plan was just to walk out until I catch a track. And sure enough, it didn't take long. I, I get into some doe tracks and I'm like, damn, these, do- these does are fresh. I'm, I'm following them a little bit and I'm like, man, this doe actually looks like it's in heat. And I'm like, and <laughs> I'm, I'm following her and, and then I see this buck track come right through. Okay. I'm like, no way. Hmm. I'm like, and this, I'm like, it's fresher. I'm like, well, I'm going to follow this track. Jump on it. <laughs> Meanwhile, my dad's like, hey, I'm pretty sure that buck is <laughs> headed your direction now. All of a sudden, yeah, sure enough, it ended up being the same buck. We're just leapfrogging each other, not even trying. Yeah. And so at that point, how far apart were you and your dad? Well, I mean, this was probably like three quarters of a mile. They got, my plan was just to walk away from him. And, yeah. and that buck was just coming right over and checking everything out. He, he must have smelt those dough and beelined it right towards them. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I'm like, well, I'm going to take it. And he goes, yep, yeah, okay, I'm going to drive around to a different road. So that's that's what he did, and I ended up taking it. Meanwhile, like, I'm, I'm falling. I'm like, yeah, this is a lot fresher from when we first started. Because, I mean, not knowing that we're leapfrogging, but we're leapfrogging. We're really gaining time here. And uh, and meanwhile, he's like, I'm, I see him feeding. I can see his horns in the snow and stuff. I'm like, yeah, it looks like. Is he you still know, with the doe at this point? No. He'd left him. He just left him. She wasn't ready. He no. hit the road. Yeah. And and so I think that's what he was just doing, out doing a loop, putting yep. down scrapes, checking everything out. Checking on the honeys, hitting yep. the road, going back to bed. Yeah, exactly. Um, so those be- those doe I ended up jumping. They went off in their own way. But I really didn't think that buck was going to be far from him, and and he really wasn't. So I think he was kind of staying and right in that area. Yeah. So got back on his track, go through a couple cuts up and down. And uh, I'm like, I'm looking at my Onyx. I'm like, man, he's headed right towards this big bog. I'm like, we're going to get into a mess down there. And so I'm like, here we go. Like, got to stay on him. So following him right down, headed straight towards this bog. And right when we get down to it, I, he immediately takes a hard right. And I'm like, okay, like he's not, not headed in. But, and so I see a bunch of thick stuff. I'm like, well, let me walk around this. I don't, don't want to, like, it, it's so quiet. And uh, I'm like, I don't want to break branches and stuff. And I step around, and as I'm stepping around, all of a sudden you hear a branch break. And I look up, and I just see him take off. And I go, Murr! <laughs> and I stop him stop him on a dime and i just i couldn't believe it and i i run up and he was stopped sh- looking back on me sharply so but and and pull up and all i see is just a massive head i'm like that is a big deer head couldn't pick out any bone i'm like just find bone i'm like don't just shoot a deer find bone find some type of bone find it find it and you know i'm like leaning around looking 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 i can't find anything then all of a sudden, he turned his head as if he was going to go again. I just see bone. I'm like, yep. And I was able to pull the trigger. <laughs> and I saw that I hit him. He takes off. And I was like, okay, I got one. All right, I got to run up. And I like ran like 10 yards or something. And he runs like 50 yards or so and stops again. Looks back at me. I'm like, okay, I think I hit him good. And I, he gave me a broadside shot there. So I was able to pull up again and pulled the trigger and i saw him drop that time no kidding i was right like there. all right i got him right there yeah so i ran up and and yeah and as soon as i saw that body i'm like whoo all right <laughs> like, yeah no idea what he had for for headgear but i was like that is a big buck he had um, enough that's he had all he had enough yeah and what he weighed yeah. he weighed 220 yeah yep 220 that's, a, pounds. that's a really good buck now is that that was the first week of the season that right? was the yeah yeah that's, let's see Season opened was it that Saturday, which is the, and the, yeah, and I shot him on Halloween because yeah. Sunday you can't hunt Monday Tuesday yeah so yeah yeah second or third day nice yeah 
How'd it feel to yeah. get one off the bat? Oh, right was, oh, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> some, of the, some of the past seasons, it seems like I'm waiting for a while to wait until the end of it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, but immediately able to use that use of that snow. We had snow up there early and able to jump right on it. Yeah. It just gives you so much confidence, too. Oh, when you absolutely. shoot a buck right off the bat, it, it just takes a monkey off your back. Absolutely. Not that there is a monkey on your back, but you have a built-up pressure, right? Yeah. And there's enough pressure as it is when you're when you're doing this stuff and you're filming and everything else, which you've got phenomenal footage yeah, of the thanks. hunt. Yeah. So. I was pretty psyched to go back and see that I just was able to capture everything. Yeah. Literally captured the entire day of it. Yeah. Which was pretty cool. That's so, awesome. Yeah. So did when you shot, did your old man hear the shots or Yeah, so funny enough, he had driven around to the next road. He knew where I was, so he was gonna go down and hang out in this area. And as he closes the door, he literally takes like five steps and hears a shot. He goes, are you kidding me? Because <laughs> 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 he knew exactly that it was me. <laughs> and so he just stands there for a second. And I get on the radio, you know, and, and we're all psyched and everything. And he, he tells me later, he goes, I knew that was you. And like right off. <laughs> no I, knew, kidding. I knew that. Like, yeah. That's so, awesome. But, but no, he was so psyched. And, and we had just bought this new camp up there. Yeah. And so to able to That's, break that in. Is that the first buck out of the new camp? Out of the new camp. Yep. yep. Good for you. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. For so, you. And so that, that was one thing he said. He, and I'm like, man, I can drop you off somewhere. And, and he goes, no, no, no. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm staying here for all of this experience so yeah that's what we did we went weighed him in and then went back to camp was able to hang him at camp and nice and yeah good for you yeah that's sweet so after that what have we been doing where where have we been hunting yeah so well i've been over to the adirondacks as well i ended up shooting a doe in the adirondacks oh, as you? well yeah nice yep shot a doe over there that was that was earlier uh, end of october yeah whatever the last day of the mus first muzzle at our season yeah is it, um, it's either or over there or either something? over it, yeah 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 for the first uh for the muzzle order part yeah um and then had been rifle hunting over there um and then also jumping back and forth to uh, New Hampshire as well. Mm -hmm. um, and I've been after some a big, big buck, multiple big buck over in New Hampshire. So yep. um, really just waiting for good snow to get back over there. But I, I'm definitely going to be focused on there for the rest of the season. That's for sure. Yeah, it sounds like we're going to get it too. It sounds yeah. like it's finally going to start showing up. Yeah, it's definitely been slowing down a little bit this past week and everything. So yep. trying to work here and there. Uh, as like while i can and then uh and then really hit it once the snow hits but Good. looks like yeah it looks like wednesday i mean four to six maybe more yeah so yeah and then in between yeah. working you've you've hunted a little bit in vermont yeah and i've also hunted in vermont as well and yep. and i found this area where there's some big buck sign and everything and and um that's been that's been fun so yep. and really it's i've actually a new kind of a new area one mm -hmm. area i've hunted a lot but i've never hunted in this one area one one section yep on this mountain and and it's been great so That's it's good. been been fun exploring that and um ended up passing up a small buck yesterday um as well ended up i mean there was just a dusting of snow but it was so windy that it was able to cover up your noise walking so i was able to track him down um jumped him out of bed i was all pissed off myself because i blew an opportunity lost my focus and everything and and uh i was like going back check it, like wanted to learn from the experience not just blow out of there and be pissed off so i wanted to learn it went back figured it out I'm like i know exactly what i did i just wasn't focused and uh ended up f seeing where he went and he was walking back in the direction that i wanted to go so um Instead of staying on his track, I was like, well, he's going to be looking right back at me. Let me just go up and over this ridge. So that's what I did. I went up and, uh, and around this ridge, and I came around and looked back in the direction that he, he went. And sure enough, he was bedded, looking right back on his backtrack, pulled up. and Nice. Yeah. It was able to uh, – got pretty cool footage of that, too. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, but that's good. He was just laying right down, looking right back, but he ended up taking off. But that's a win. Yeah. You no, know, it sure was. Doesn't, it it you felt don't good. To, it yeah, felt you don't good. Need to you pull know, the trigger yeah, for it to be a win. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Like I felt, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I just, I felt accomplished yep. with that. So, that's a good hunt. So I felt good about that. And then, uh, yeah, really, now it's finally snowing outside. So I'm just excited. <laughs> yeah. She's snowing all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Here we are. Oh <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Well, um, you'll be back on again. 
we'll do another season update. Yeah. So until the next one. Yeah. Thank you.